It's another beautiful late spring, early summer day. I do not know what to call it. The reason is the weathers and seasons are just merging into each other. 70 degree, which is beautiful for us, but not the right temperature for the plants right now. So today we'll start my real summer garden. We'll talk about a couple of mistakes I made last year or the years and what I've learned and we will some redesign or re-engineer some things. And Jan is around here to help me with that. And we will discuss those also. So what you see over here is my no-till garden. This many years ago, I used to use a tiller. I will uh, put plants, weed will come up. Then I did it that I will use a fabric, eat, still weed will come up. What's happened over here now for the last couple of years, I have this wood mulch sitting. That's for the areas that where, where I'll walk. This has two years worth of mushroom compost and my regular homemade compost. But there are still some issues uh, that I've not been able to overcome. One of the issues is in the back, you'll see this angel trumpet uh, vine. Somebody who lived here before me in the other house, they, they grew it. New people moved. They built a new fence and they killed it, everything from their side. Now it's stuck between the two fences. So what's underneath? So uh, there's a cardboard layer in the bottom and then two layers of wood chip over here and two la layers of compost over here but it's still coming through i can pull it like this but the root did not go away so that's an issue i have no solution so i, I wouldn't need to do untilling gardening in a bit because i have to go in and take that out else it takes over then i have another area where this is my old area this just has um, different soils and compost on it. This has some weeds. So what we have to do over here is do the weeding. And after that, after our weeding, we will have to build on a construct that I did last year. So if you can see my hand, there is a metal post over there and there's a metal post over there and I'm running a metal wire and then these strings which ha hang and then these ties that I use for my tomatoes. What happened with this side was the length was far too much and earlier we were discussing and Jan will explain the design but we are about to reinforce it. So. Let's talk to Jan and let, 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 let's learn how to do that. All right, guys. So this is our new bill for our tomatoes. Um, and it's just a trial and error thing. You know, if something goes wrong along the way, you go ahead and fix it. Uh, majority of that has to do that we like to use as much stuff as we have on, on site. Um, we actually were sitting down and brainstorming how we're going to do this today. Um, just to add more support to this wire. Um, we were initially just thinking of putting an extra post and having this um, post support the wire that's assisting there. But then we realized that we have some of these right here, which is an original post left over for the fence. Um, so we're gonna get ahead and use those. And it's definitely gonna add way more structure uh, to the tomato um, fencing. So we're gonna get that started and we're gonna show you how simple it is. Okay guys, so we, we right here, we have our structure ready for our tomatoes. You saw us um, um, putting the holes inside the, the tube, just to have enough space to just kind of grab it. Here we go, we have a nice sturdy um, structure. 
because most of the weight is going down, the side to side, it doesn't matter. Um, later on, if it does, does affect like wind, we could always attach it to this um, other fence we have over here. So it's not a big deal. Now we got to prepare our land for the, the plants. So we're going to do some weeding. Every weed is different. So you might have to get down and do it by hand or for this particular kind of weed that we have most of, we can just go ahead, drag it away. There's different tools for weeding. There's a weeding weasel, which is just like a wheel um, that we also use. Um, but it really depends on what kind of, kind of weeds you have, you know? And we always recommend don't go to the store and start buying a bunch of stuff because we us have did, well, we did that mistake. You know, we have a whole bunch of tools that we don't use. And look how other people use their tools and see what tools are best for you. So I'll show you a couple of different ways that uh, you can uh, stake your tomatoes. One of the issues, or not an issue, but uh, tomato in an indeterminate kind is almost like a wine. So you need a, a lot of space for it to grow. So these stakes were done here last year. The stake which was here broke. So I'm just showing you, demonstrating to you what needs to be done. Buy some of these rods, put them in the ground. Wood, one, it, it, one is expensive, but when you start putting wood down, it starts rotting. So you all only get a couple of uh, two to three years out of a uh, wooden stake. Doing it this way, the stake is just aligned to it. Yes, the lower part will rot, but it would not be almost this, uh, six or seven inches that you put in the ground. Once you do that, take one of these beauties, the best thing made after sliced bread because it works everywhere and do this now it's look at my hand shaking it's decently sturdy so i'll show you like two different ways of doing this i already built refinish this so i'll put a plant over here i'll put a plant over there where, where we do this the concept where the string comes down and you can do flora Florida weave or I have a clip that I use one or the other way. Now with tomatoes. So this one is an apricot zebra. Uh, I think it, it, it's a, a smaller uh, tomato. What you need to do, and I know this is an indeterminate tomato. Take all these off. You want to plant your tomato as deep as possible. Now this one has not started growing a sucker yet and in future we can talk about it now compared to my other garden this is no till but to go in the ground sometimes i still need help so using a tool like this is not a bad thing now see where my root system is and where my green is i'm almost going two to three inches of the green into the ground a root system will form and it will make your plant healthier. This is done. Put the tag, you're done. The plant is still too small, so I won't tie it right now. And once it gets to a certain height, I would. Now the whole concept of uh, reusing, repurposing, reusing things. So I have these metal, metal plastic ties that you can buy in a store. What I do is when I'm done with the year, I'll just put it back here and I can keep on using. I'm a big believer in recycling. So I try to uh, use as much as possible. I try not to use plastic, but if I have to, I try to get a use out of it for years and years to come. So I'll just put it here that when I come to the garden next time and if the plant is big enough, that I can tie it. Now, let's look at a different kind of a, it's from a beef stick variety. So this will be a bigger tomato. And it's called big beef. Again, the same concept, clean, 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 clean. And actually on this one, 
I feel like it, I'll go. So there's a string attached to the wire which you saw earlier. And some people will dig the string in. You can do that, but I think it's not needed. So again, do the same technique. Move, a so move the soil a bit. Again, plant this as deep as possible. With this one, since I have this, so this is a tie system I use. You can do a Florida V where you can go keep on moving it like this. But what I'll do is when my plant is young, I'll just use this. So bring my string over here. And just attach it like this. Now what this will do, that the tomato will not start falling anywhere. I still have another of these up here, but as the tomato comes to this side, then I'll just weaving it till it goes up. The last bit I wanted to explain, having a no-till garden, one beautiful thing which I've seen, that plants from last year, they start coming back. I have a patch of tomatoes which are happening over here. I would not move them anywhere uh, and I don't have the heart to destroy them. So what I was thinking to try a new technique and you will see with me that if it works or not. So again, I'll clean my plants. I might run one of them to this from here. I might run one onto this. But what I'll try to do is let them fall on the ground and grow. And I want to see uh, what happens. I do understand that the yield will be less, but these are free tomatoes. So even if I get one tomato out of each plant, that, that was one tomato which I didn't have. And I didn't have to do anything. And this one is already uh, fruiting. So this is our video today of uh, our summer garden. From here, we'll finish uh, planting all the tomatoes. Uh, I'll put some basil in between. Then I'll do marigold. And again, I'm on, on a fence on this, but many people swear about it that it helps with the uh, uh, rabbits and some other animals. I will just do it because it looks beautiful. So thank you. You have a wonderful day and we'll see you next week.